Okay, just a little side video of this. Might be of interest to some people, maybe it's not others, but um, one of the things, we have portholes all throughout the boat. And it was a decision of, do we want um, curtains or blinds or people have bungs and stuff? Well, and we've got 10 of them. So actually, when you actually make a decision, it could be quite expensive. You know, it might cost you uh, six or 700 pounds to get curtain rails and curtains, or it might cost you 200 pounds to um, get the bungs made for the 10 windows and stuff. So I kind of came up with a little idea, a little hack. And what I did was, um, I made these. I think they look all right. Um, what it is, is I bought some 400 mil MDF discs. I painted them just to make sure that they were then kind of waterproof, because I don't know, you get a lot of moisture around the window. So I painted them, I then wallpapered them, and I bought some trim just to go around. I think they look all right. They don't cut out 100% of a uh, line. There's a sort of halo around it where there's a tiny gap but you certainly can't see in or see out. Um, and it, each one of them cost me probably about six pound. So 60 pound for the 10 of them. Um, like I said, I think they look good and it was quite cheap at the end of the day. Hi there. Uh, just a little short video of something we did extra on the boat, um, a little kind of finishing touch. I don't know if you remember, we had the, the tiled wall um, in the lounge here and we, we weren't sure what to put on it. We're not big into photographs and paintings, but we wanted something and we wanted a clock as well. So we looked around for clocks and couldn't, couldn't see anything we liked. So I got in touch with a company uh, called Rivery Canal Trading Company. I think that's right and I asked them to make something, so I sent them a design. I'll show you the design, hang on. So that was the design I sent them. Yeah. And they then, uh, over a period of a couple of weeks, batted things backwards and forwards, and they came up with this. So the wheelhouse turned out, yeah, it turned out good. We, we absolutely love it. It's the closest thing I think you can get to having a conservatory on the back of a boat. Today it's November the 11th or 12th or something like that. And it's, I don't know, it's probably about eight or nine degrees outside, but in here it's about 18 degrees and I could sit here all day long with my t-shirt on, till the sun goes down, obviously. Um, but yeah, it, it worked out good. Bit of a faff to put up, bit of a faff to take off, but all in all, it's that extra room that we wanted to give us that kind of outside living spaces. You don't have a garden with a boat, so you, you just want somewhere where you can sit and see out, and it, it works perfect for that. Thanks a lot, take care.